I am here visiting with Anita Ellis and her daughter Quincy, and she is the winner of the first round of the Futurity here at the Ruby Buckle event in Memphis, Tennessee. Anita, you and this French Streak to Vegas gelding have had an incredible year. Tell us about it. Yes. Um, I have been so excited about him. I um, obviously in the at the Ruby Buckle in June came back in, in our or um, Guthrie and you know I won or I got fourth the first go and um, won the second go and ended up winning the average and I was so excited about that and I've had some some good weekends since then and then some really tough weekends and so I was really nervous to drive all the way here from Idaho um, not knowing how he was going to do and trying to get his nerves under control and, and things but and you know obviously it, it paid off but trying to get his nerves under control has been a trick the last uh, couple months I guess so but and he was really he was he did great yesterday during the time onlys and that's what I was hoping for that he would just be calm because he's had some gate issues and not wanting to go down tunnels and stuff like that to the arena. And so yesterday keeping him calm um, during the time onlys was a really good thing for him because he kind of didn't want to go in the arena today, kind of spun out a little bit and then I ended up getting him on track and he had an awesome run. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with him today. <laughs> you touched on such an important thing, which is that these horses change throughout their maturity year and as they mature as competitors and as they get a little older so how do you handle that from maybe the beginning of the year where they're a little more green to now where they think they've kind of got this figured out oh uh, that's really tough actually um my horse um in particular you know i know all of them are different but my horse is uh kind of pressured up a little bit he's he's knowing what this is about now and it, it he gets really nervous and so i've had to just take him out of the arena, ride him a little bit away from the arena, getting him more calm. Like this isn't the only thing you're ever going to do is, you know, as soon as I get on you, you have to run. So I've been focusing on that a lot and just keeping him really calm has been my goal for the last couple of months because he, he has gotten pressured up and the, you know, at the gate, he hasn't done great in different areas. I went to Ardmore and he struggled with anxiety because he could, he could hear the speaker um, in his stall all night, you know, the open went until one in the morning. And so it wasn't a good place for him. He just was, had so much anxiety. So driving all the way here, I was really nervous about that. But it, this arena and how open it is and that he can see the first barrel, it's way better for him and his anxiety was easier to handle today. <laughs> well, and you made an excellent run. You Thank guys you. were such a great team today. You're here with your family and your daughter Quincy is here. Quincy, what was it like watching your mom win today? Um, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to be in the interview, so I think she's pretty excited for her mom. But my final question for you is, what does it mean to be able to do this as a family and to travel these distances to be able to run at this kind of prize money? It means a lot to me that there's th this potential, you know. Um, I, I can't believe that it's available to people, and I'm just super thankful for the people who put it on and, you know, the pink buckle and the ruby buckle, what an awesome opportunity for everyone. And yeah, like uh, being able to bring my daughter and, you know, have her here with me is a little less stress and worry about what's happening at home. And so it's been really, really good. Crazy, but good. <laughs> Congratulations on a beautiful first round. Good luck in the second Thank go. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kelly.